Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch news. Well, one of the big pieces of legislation that Congress is working on this year is the new Farm Bill. And this past week, the House Agriculture Subcommittee on General Farm Commodities, Risk Management and Credit heard from America's commodity groups about what's important to them during a producer perspectives on the 2023 Farm Bill hearing. Now, National Association of Wheat Growers President and Oregon Farmer Brent Shane highlighted NOG's primary Farm Bill priorities, including the importance of maintaining and enhancing crop insurance. Farming is a risky business requiring a strong safety net. Wheat farmers rely on the certainty of the crop insurance program. In turn, the American people can depend on American farmers who are able to continue to withstand natural disasters and produce the most stable and affordable food supply in the world. Maintaining a strong safety net for farmers was a common theme delivered during last week's hearing. Now, in addition to crop insurance, pulse growers would like to see some changes to popular risk management programs like ARC and PLC. The Ag Rich Coverage, ARC, and Price Loss Coverage, PLC, programs should be continued with additional streamlining and flexibility. In place of the annual choice and sign up for ARC and PLC, we support a new idea of providing producers with the better of option uh, for these two programs in any given year. Commodity organizations like the National Association of Wheat Growers and USA Dry Pea and Linnell Council also testified that some of their other Farm Bill priorities include funding important research development at land-grant universities and other institutions across America, as well as maintaining funding for important export programs like the Market Access Program and Foreign Market Development Program, which of course help deliver our high-quality crops that we raise here in America to those around the world. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day.